George Kilpatrick, new inspiration for the nation, celebrating the positive achievements of African Americans from all walks of life. People that we feel good about. And we are so pleased to be joined by a young man who is proof that faith without works is dead. He's got the works to prove it, and he's living his faith, and that is the name of the, his latest book. It's called Produced by Faith. And yes, produced in every sense of the word, because this is his vocation. He is the vice president of production for Columbia Pictures, and he's been involved in many films, including The Karate Kid, The Pursuit of Happiness. You've named it, but now he's going to tell you and tell us all how to really listen to what we know is right inside when we really can't see the end of the rainbow, when we think all is lost and hope is lost, when you can trust yourself and trust that you can live your faith outwardly, that the results can be very powerful if you just trust and believe. All right, I don't have to talk to you anymore now because I didn't said it all, but no, we appreciate it. Right. <laughs> well, we want to welcome to the program Devon Franklin. And uh, Devon, so glad that you could join us. George, thank you so much for having me. Very glad to be here and be with you. Uh, so, so, to, all right, so produced by faith. And first of all, before I should say that, uh, faith is in a way having a comeback if you think about what we've seen over this past year. Are you excited about that? Absolutely. I mean, because I, I think it's one of the things that actually is it's never really gone out of style. Uh, it just becomes a matter of awareness and that people are paying attention to the value that it should have uh, in our lives. So I think that people are beginning to see that, you know, it's important to have hope, it's important to have faith, it's important to have belief, uh, because those are the things that are timeless and, and really can help us navigate and manage through any circumstance and situation. We've seen uh, in the sports world, let me give you that analogy, we've seen uh, Tim Tebow uh, living out his faith outwardly, and now I have to bring it up since it's we're in this moment of Linsanity, if you will. Are you feeling Linsanity right now, Devon? <laughs> Linsanity. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Jeremy Lin, of course, the uh, New York Knicks guard who's mm-hmm. taken the world by storm, and part of what is driving him is unexplained. Nobody can explain it, Uh, but he's a devout Christian and, you know, and he's not ashamed of that. And, and so I, I, I thought that this might give you an opportunity to talk about that in context of how you live your life. Because I think what, you know, for me, it's like so many times, no matter what you do or what you endeavor to do, you feel like, you know, assimilation, uh, and having to, uh, become who people think you need to be in order to find success. We so oftentimes we buy into that faulty reasoning, right? So we begin to, uh, change who we are, change what we believe, uh, change what makes us unique and different in order to try to live up to this image or this idea that we think people will find acceptable so then they will give us more opportunity. Um, I think for me, embracing my Christianity or Jeremy Lin or, or Tim Tebow, it's, a, it's identifying and being comfortable saying this is who we are, this is what we believe, and this actually makes us better at what we do because we have the confidence of our faith. We don't question it. We have the reality of it and the foundation from that. Really, then, because so many times when you go into your job, there is this insecurity. There is this question, well, can I do it? Do I have the ability? Am I good enough? Can I really compete? And I feel like, for me, you know, embracing my Christian faith uh, helps me deal with some of those things, because at the end of the day, I believe that I'm doing this work not because it is just the work in and of itself, but I'm doing this work because this is what God has me. So there is an added purpose. There is an added determination. There's an added perseverance, because it's not just uh, vocational. It's spiritual. You know, it's ultimately a part of what we were called to do in life. And so understanding that and embracing it brings a whole nother level of, of intensity and focus uh, to the job that, that I do. You know, I have not had a chance to meet Tim or, or, or Jeremy, um, but, you know, I, I would argue they probably would say something very similar. Well, you haven't had a chance, Well, you, you but you saw him torture Lakers, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? I'm not a Laker fan of anybody. <laughs> well, actually, so, he's from... Know, I used to be back in the day growing up, but, yeah, you right. know. He's actually uh, from... Right now, I'm just, uh, you know, kind of a fair weather fan. All right, well, he He's, in fact, he's from NoCal, so, you know, and that's where you grew up in San Francisco. Yes, 
Yes, I did. I grew up in the Bay Area. Uh, you know, grew up in Oakland, and, Oakland, and Richmond, Oaktown. and Berkeley, and Albany. All around. Uh, so, okay. you know, the Bay Area has a very, very uh, warm spot in my heart. That's that's where most of my family is. My mom still is up there. Uh, so I try to get up there as much as I can. You know, you you, you talked about intensity and focus. Uh, but the one thing, uh, and, and the thing that crossed my mind as we talked to Devon Franklin, vice president of uh, the, uh, production at uh, Columbia Pictures, and, and, and one of the things that, that occurred to me is that you said integrity, and I think about how how difficult that must be to maintain in Hollywood, where many would argue there's not much of it. <laughs> well, well, here's the thing. I, the reality, you know, in, in my experience has been that there is more integrity than the media would portray. Okay, you know, I, I, right, so I work take with me to a task. lot of people uh, who are who have tremendous integrity. You know, who are great people, great family people. Um, I think the media, you know, loves to portray you know Hollywood as this kind of salacious place. Uh, in my experience, that isn't uh, has not been the case, especially you know on the executive side. I mean, what I will say is that we all, no matter what industry we're in, we have to make a decision about what we want, why we want it, and what are we willing to do to get it. And so many times we. We uh, put integrity as one of the things that we're willing to give up in order to attain whatever the goal might be. And truth be told, no matter what you believe, if you stand firm and you have integrity, as difficult as it might be, that is the very thing that will get you more opportunity than it will keep you from having opportunity. Because when you are a type of person that has integrity and people can trust your word and people know that you have values, they are the type, you're the type of person someone wants on their team. Because the person that may not have integrity and the person that may say the thing just to get the opportunity, people can recognize that. And in the moment, you might seem like you're winning, but in terms of a long career, you won't. And I find that integrity is valued not just in Hollywood, but, but everywhere you go. Yeah. And for me, one of the keys that has been critical in, in holding on to this integrity is to remind myself why I'm here. Mm. Okay. I am here to, because it's part of my purpose, right? So no matter what my bosses see or don't see, God sees everything. Hmm. So at the end of the day, I have to answer to him. And I don't want this business more than I want his will for my life. Ooh, so but, at the end of the day, if yeah. this business goes away and I keep my relationship with him, I'm good. But if I compromise my relationship with him and I compromise my integrity just to have this business, I, I can't live with myself. You, you talk, we're talking with Devon Franklin, Vice President of Production, Columbia Pictures, some of the movies he's worked on, Pursuit of Happiness, The Karate Kid, Jumping the Broom. Uh, the name of the book is Produced by Faith, Enjoy Real Success Without Losing Your True Self. And I think that that is the thing that really, for all of us, for many of us, it's – we. For some of us, it's not even knowing or being comfortable enough with who we are to enjoy yeah. our true self. True? Yes, absolutely. I mean, and that's, it's like, it's, it's the thing that I see, it's one of the reasons why I wrote the book, because I, I see people every day not liking who they are not liking what makes them unique and different, giving that up, feeling like, oh, you know, I'm not as good as the next person. I don't have as much intelligence, or I'm not as smart, or I'm not as good looking. So they begin to downplay and feel badly about who they were created to be. And I'm like, wait a minute, no. All of those things in the person that you are is uniquely designed to do the thing you're supposed to do in the world. So stop looking at yourself and being down. And then what happens is when you don't feel good about yourself, right, then you begin to slowly change who you are in order to fit someone's limited idea of who you are and what you can be versus embracing who you are in all of the, 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 you know, the quirkiness and all the things that people don't understand. Be confident in that because in, when you do that, you actually will find the place that you're supposed to occupy in the world. So you and I just don't – so go ahead. Go ahead no, 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 you go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying, I just, I just, I don't want to, I'm, I'm, the reason why I wrote the book is because I want to encourage people to have confidence in who God's made them to be. I want people to be encouraged to understand that you were made the way you were made for a reason. Uh, one of the things I like to say is that sometimes we start looking at other people and wonder why we don't have that success. And I say, look, stay in your own movie, right? Mm -hmm. uh, your own movie was created for you. And you're going to have victory and you're going to succeed in a way that's unique to you. You can't look to the other movie and say, well, why isn't it happening? Because that person has their own things that they have to deal with. So God made us unique and different for a reason, and we need to embrace it and feel good about it instead of feeling less than when we look in the mirror. 